Mary Mead Annie here. A short reading for you about quickening from Wendy Hunter Roberts in her book, Celebrating Her, which has a longer title than that, uh, but I'm not recalling right now what it is. From Wendy. This is the dark time when life grows underground with no external proof of its existence. Demanding proof could kill it. Leave the roots alone. They are germinating. Seeds are breaking through their shells and sending out fragile feelers into the cool, moist earth, looking for something to grab onto. There is nothing to sustain one now but faith, the evidence of things not seen, and a fundamental trust in nature's regenerative powers. Life feels cold and unsure. People turn inward like young seedlings groping in the inchoate darkness, for they know not what. Then one day, early in February, just between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, something begins to stir gently. Who knows what it is? Life, perhaps an early calla lily or daffodil or the first pussy willows. Perhaps it is internal, a stirring in one's own body, a sense of restlessness or even irritability takes over. Something is coming, but no one is sure of what. The day is, no, not a lot, just a little, but still noticeably longer. The beginning of the end of winter. The early rumors of spring are almost palpable, like a seed planted deep in the belly, which can only sense, but not yet, feel. In the name of all the stirrings beneath the ground and within each other. I wish you mirth and reverence in the season of Invoke. Mary Part. <laughs>